thank you for staying with us on one on one i still have a dear okay Pede with me okay Ronke, um just very quickly i just wanted to so you you talked about um joseph he's fine now yes, um thank god for that yeah. but how do you you know fund this do you does all your salary go to do it out of pocket? How do, you, how do you get to No, no, we fast that level. We, okay. Of course, I do individual, my own uh, logistic support as well. But we passed the level when I used to do all that. You know, I used for seven years when we started. It was personal funding for, oh, wow. well, for my, 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 I remember my first, uh, my elder sister, my eldest was our first donor. Okay. You know, she gave us our first salary at that time to use everything to run you know, the logistic of Angel, but we've grown by God's grace and people that have been able to trust us over the years. We are 13, this year will be 14 years oh, wow. that we've been doing it. So we've grown. So we passed the level of me using my personal salary. And so we get a lot of donations. I won't lie about that. We are grateful to our donors. We get donors from abroad. I have someone that told us that I've been watching you for five years on social media, all that you do, and I'm ready to donate. And he did donate well, well. as in well. Oh, so wow. he, the watching was worth it, you okay. know. And so we, we, so we've had great, you know, support system. Being that we were consistent with what we we're doing, we're visit, we're trying to show it. We give feedback all the time. Yes, we social media, our social media platforms where we use it well. You know, we give the feedback, which people see it all the time, what we do. And so individuals have been amazing. Family, then even churches, you know, instead of them going out to do it themselves, they send the donations yes, to us. You. There was even one, one case that we just speak recently of a young girl that got pregnant, um, a 13, 13, 14 year old, and this is two you know, teenage girl that got pregnant and the father, of course, he said he's responsible, but of course he didn't show responsibility. The boy is seven months old and, you know, we did the community actually and we're able to pick her out from the community. The baby is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. he's, an, he's a beautiful baby boy, <laughs> a beautiful baby boy. And so we picked the girl up and she said she wants to go back to school, you know, and so we just shared the story on social media and she has gotten two sponsors already. Oh, so those are the things that we do. So we let you know the cases that there are issues are there, you know, and you don't know where to put the support. Yeah. So you come to us, we'll definitely channel. And one of the donors, one of the sponsors said, I don't want to update. And I was like, why don't you? She's not even in Nigeria, she's in the UK. And I said, why don't you want to update on how she's fine? He said, I trust you guys to do a good job. Oh, wow. And so we are grateful for the trust. We are grateful. So individual support. Of course, we've started having corporate support too as well from the last event. For the year two, 2019 to 20, the school fees for three terms for over 20 children were paid by a particular brand. Okay. You know, yes, and we are grateful to them so we've started getting to that level that we are getting corporate support but the most 90 percent or let me say 85 percent is from individuals and organiz um, um, business organizations and small media business and it will shock you that 40 percent is from facebook and social media oh, yes wow. facebook wow. social that's, media that's yes. good stuff so let's talk about the welfare of children in orphanages because people will say look even the children are with their parents you know People are, you know, they are not even probably well yes, taken care of. Yes. Well, the children in the orphanages, what do we as individuals need to do? What does the government need to do? I like the fact that you say that the Lagos State Government has done fantastic yeah, they are, they are, um, so they are, they are, far, you know, in their own um, capacity. But what else should governments do? What are the things that Lagos State is doing and getting right that other state governments need to? Need to yeah, I think first of all is to sign, sign. Everybody should have the Child Act, you know, law signed. Every I think it's only... Um, 25 states, we still have like 11 states, which of course majorly is from the north, that have not signed it. So when the art law is, it's, everybody knows there's a punishable offense, the child okay. labor law, punishable offense to, you know, to have child abuse, use the child for jobs they're not supposed to do. Right now, from the 2000, and, um, I think 1986, that was passed into law that above, um, below 18 years old is considered a child. So whatever you want to use that child for, you need to be careful that it's not for, you know, house help that which many people are doing which is so wrong and you find out that a lot of corporate people are the one you know in that Taking there's punishment for it yes there's punishment for it it's a punishable offense and so so but now we need other states to now get more involved everybody all the states should have it and of course follow the process as well not just having it on paper mm. but of course executing it let there be when people see that one person is being punished for it everybody wakes up and know that okay True. this is wrong i need to be responsible of course, create policies. Let every child be in school. Let every child be in school. Some of our parents were opportune to get education through the government, um, you know, policies then that were free education for every child. Every state governor should start pursuing education. Education should come like a top 
top on the list of whatever budget you want to do as a state governor and they must be executed as well. Let us be child be in school because when they are in school, what drives people into child abuse or hawking or child labor is poverty. Poverty and beyond the one that is even now more painful is rape and you know trafficking, carrying these girls abroad for sexual assault and all that. So it's becoming alarming. Mm. It's really, really becoming alarming. And so that's why government needs to wake up and do much more. There is much more. The 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 growth is still very tiny, it's still very tiny. There's so a lot of policies need to be put in place and not just policies execution of those policies as well. Punishable offenses, people should be held responsible. And for parents that can't take care of a child, you know, you asked me yes. that question. That. I don't think everybody should have children. I That's agree. A, I do agree. Personal opinion. I, I personally I agree should, too because you find out that you, have you had of conversations with people and ask them why they actually have a child exactly. in the first place and they're like, you they know, they know, just want to have, they don't even know. You know, I say it all the time that Children are small human beings. They are human beings. So some of us forget they are human beings. We just see them as property or assets. Yes. No, they are not assets. They are human beings. They only think that they are younger, they are smaller. But they definitely are humans. They have a soul. They have a spirit. And so if you understand that, you will cherish that child that you have. Mm. You know, you wonder why people will pay so much to do IVF, you know, and you have it on just a platter of gold. You and you just, you just don't take care of the child. What does it take? And you see, yes, we complain that toddlers are everywhere. But the beauty behind them is that you get that noise in your house. Can I share a story of a man that we met that he finally had a child well, after supporting our NGO. He felt he, was, he supported the NGO. God will open, you know, everybody have the faith and what they believe. And he finally got one and the child broke his TV. And his wife got hysterical. I was so angry that, ah, what's that? The man said, what has he broken? He said, TV, let him break. Keep breaking. <laughs> break everything. Who broke TV in this house 10 years ago? Please, my, dear, my son, continue yeah. to break, you know. It was so funny, but, you know, you understand the point he was trying to have. So if you appreciate that, you should appreciate the gift of, of a child. God said that they are apple of his eye. So they are God's assets to you. We are just custodians. Mm -hmm. It's not like your being well behaved is what make you have a child. True. It's not as if you're a perfect human for true, a child. The fact is that God just wants you to be responsible God, and yeah. be a custodian. And if you're a custodian of this amazing gift, why shouldn't you take care of that? And if God has seen that some people are not ready to I don't know what you might want to. I feel that if you're not ready, then don't go for it. Mm. Let those that really deserve to have children, have children and love them. Because the, the better these kids become, the better our future. Oh, yeah, they are our future. The and the better they... So when we come take care of them, we have more hoodlums on the street. We have more, you know, people turning arm robbers because nobody is there to channel their, their true love and show them how they should lead better. Mm. Thank you so much, Roque. Thank you for Sadly, me. we've Thank run out you. of time. I really Thank wish. You. I hope you come back again so that Definitely. we can have more conversation about the welfare Definitely. of children, especially um, children in orphanage homes. Well Thank done you. with your Thank uh, work you. and keep at it. Thank you. And that's all we can take for one on one on this episode. Please follow us on all our um, social media pages. You can watch this interview again on YouTube. Have a very good day. My name is Fumi Onoa JP. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.